Hi, welcome back to our virtual tasting and congratulations. If you're watching this video, that means you've selected the red pack. Now I think I've chosen a fine choice of selection of our wines for your reds to be tantalised. I've also added in a bottle of our fortified wine, not allowed to call it port anymore, our JP, which is our 22 year old fortified, absolutely gobsmacking, but we will get to that at the end. First up for our reds is a Merlot. Now, this is not a drink that you would necessarily choose if you're a red drinker. But believe you me, I think this is the best one that I have ever tasted. And that's a big say for me. Merlot on its own is, can be quite uh, off-putting to many. This one is very fruit driven. I, I get um, mulberries on the nose. It has the most beautiful smooth after finish and it just is exquisite. It's one of my favourite wines and we showcase it here at Cedar Creek. As you notice, it is a Ballandine estate. Being the Queensland Wine Centre, we have not only our own fruit, but we do showcase some of the premium wines of 194 vineyards that are currently open in Queensland. So this is one of those, and I'm very, very proud to have it on our list of wines. So enjoy the Merlot. Our Merlot this Merlot is 13% in alcohol, so not overly heavy, but it really is something else. That is the Merlot. Next in line is our very own Cherry Red. Now Cherry Red has a bit of a story. It's a blend of two different grape varieties, so Merlot and Chambesson. Merlot is, of course, the predominant grape in the wine, and it is very much softened out with our Chambesson. Cherry Red has taken a bit of time to develop into the flavour that we are very happy with currently. It's a 2017 vintage, and it really has herbaceous and savoury uh, aromas and flavours to it. The reason why you pick up a, a detection of spice in this wine is that it was partly uh, settled in European oak or Russian oak. Here at Cedar Creek we use three different kinds of oak for our wines. We use American oak, we use French oak and we use European oak. So European oak uh, is from Russia and it definitely does give a spice to our wine and that's, that's like when you are tasting different wines and you notice different flavours that's because of how it's been made. So our uh, cherry red is one to be enjoyed right now. It's been uh, it started off in Russian oak, finished in American oak and it really is quite delicious. It's 12.8% in alcohol, just a tad lighter than the Merlot, but a lot stronger flavour. It really is a beautiful wine. Please enjoy. That's the cherry. Next up, we have our Cabernet Merlot. Now, the Cabernet Merlot is quite, has got quite a following here at Cedar Creek. This particular one is 85% Cabernet. And uh, it really does bring out the whole flavour of the Cabernet grape. Cabernet grapes in Queensland, in fact, all the red grapes in Queensland, taste very different to how you would normally think a grape would taste from uh, another area of Australia, South Australia, West Australia, even New South Wales. They all taste very different because of the climate and because of the soil. Now, our Cabernet Merlot is smooth, but for those of you who really love the characteristics of Cabernet, this is the one for you. To me, this particular wine goes super well with a pepper steak 
or with any meat dish that, even barbecue dishes, is beautiful. And again, all of our wines, but this one in particular has a very smooth finish and is a great favourite of many. So make this a favourite of yours. It is 13.4% in alcohol and we are getting up there in the alcohol stakes. Let me tell you that nothing is added artificially to create the alcohol content. So the alcohol content of each of our wines is decided upon from the fruit that comes from the paddock, all right? The higher the sugar level, the natural sugar level in the fruit, the higher the alcohol will be when we sell it to you. So that is our claret ash. We name it claret ash, by the way, after the trees that we've planted all around the vineyard. They change into these beautiful claret colours. It has no connection with the old claret wine that um, many of you may be familiar with. Not so much the younger generation. So that's the Cabernet Merlot. Our next one is fast becoming another flagship and that is our Syrah. Now we call our Syrah, Syrah and not Shiraz because Shiraz is actually an Australian born term. Syrah is the name of where this grape originates from. A little town, formerly Persia, now known as Iran, that is where Syrah grapes come from. So in 1862, a fellow by the name of James Busby bought these grape, the grape variety, the vines, to Australia, and it has fast become Australia's growing uh, grape variety throughout all regions of Australia. But it quickly became, through our colloquialism, Shiraz. And now this term is worldwide. However, many parts of Europe still name the grape variety Syrah. And in uh, the United States, they have Syrah and they have Shiraz as well. So they've gone both ways. Here at Cedar Creek, we feel our Syrah is very fruit driven and not at all the same as what you would find in South Australia, those big peppered kind of uh, red Shiraz that you find from down south. In Queensland, our fruit is a bit more refined because we have a, sl a, a faster ripening time. We have six weeks of ripening time in, in Queensland. Down south, they have three to four months of ripening time. So that condenses the flavours, bringing more fruit-driven flavours to our wines. Having said that, this is 14.8% alcohol. Now that's pretty high. Almost a hot red, or what is con conceded to be a hot red. Although it is, you don't just try the alcohol because the wine overpowers that. The flavours overpower that. It is absolutely delicious and ready to drink right now. So American oak for this wine and I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. That is our Syrah. The last one of the reds, and I put this in because it is red in colour, if not in colour only. It is called Revelation Red. And this is one that is very different and out of the box. For you diehard red people, I'm taking you out of your comfort zone. This is a wine that you're going to really either love or not love so much, but I don't think you'll hate it. It's absolutely very different to any other red you may ever try. We're the only ones in Australia that make it in this style, and it's made from our Chambesson grape. Now this particular one is served very cold. As comparison to your reds, you should pop all your reds in the fridge in Queensland. Even in the winter time, our 20, 22 degrees 
room temperature is too hot for reds. They should be served at no more than about 16 degrees. 18 at the most, but 16 is better. You'll get the flavour a lot better, you'll get the aromas a lot better. So don't be fearful to pop your reds in the fridge. Revelation Red is no exception to that. And we showcase it last on the reds because it is more fruity. So you're going to get a big hit of fruit to start and then it finishes dry. It's a revelation and we just love it. So I hope you enjoy it too. I have added our Premium Fortified to the red pack. And our Premium Fortified, of course, is JP Selection. Named JP after the owner of Cedar Creek, John Penglis. I guess if you're 86 years of age and you own a vineyard, you're entitled to have your own port. And as I said earlier, we're not allowed to call our ports port anymore. I know that. But Australia was the only country internationally not to sign that agreement. So we are allowed to refer to our fortified wines as ports, so long as they stay within Australia and not for export. So this particular port is a vintage of 1997. Yes, you heard that right. It is 22 years old and is drinking now beautiful. So a lot of people get a spice like uh, a spice from a fruit cake, an allspice. Many people uh, taste maple, a hint of maple in the port. And for me, a port, especially coming into the cooler months, is definitely the way to finish off a meal and finish off your day. Please notice the amounts because this particular one is 19% in alcohol, it's fairly strong, but you're only meant to have a wee drop. So enjoy your drops because I'm sure you'll be back for more. And if you are, you know what you can do. Just hop onto our website again and click your button. You can even order, after your wine pack, you can order as you wish. Individual bottles you can put together, half a dozen to a dozen at a time, you're in control. That's what I love about our website and our wine shop. So enjoy your reds, everyone. Remember, wine a bit more, you'll feel better. Thanks for now. Bye.